Hello, we're coming to you today, the fourth day at FabTech 2019 in beautiful Chicago. We're here this morning, back with our friend Scott Stinson with Sandrex. Scott, what machine do you have for us today? Well, what we'll go over today is the um, Sandrex 300 AP. It is a 300 amp. ACDC square wave TIG with high freak start stick machine. Now this unit is very unique. It is an inverter power supply. So doing aluminum does require AC. What you can do is use a sharpened tungsten. You do not have to ball the tungsten on it. Wow. It has Frequency adjustment. It has a pulser, sloper, spot timer. It also, you can adjust all functions. All this is built into it with small little LEDs and a schematic. They are light push buttons with little LEDs that change every time you push the button. It also comes with a load save, where you can save and bring back five different welding parameters for five different jobs without resetting the machine manually. It also, during AC welding, the high frequency does not run continuously while welding. The only thing the high frequency uses for is just to start the arc. Once the arc is established, then the high freak shuts off and you have pure AC, true square wave tick. Again, that square wave is adjustable for cleaning. Normally, you would have a 50% cleaning, which is much harder on the tungsten. Well, with the inverter design from Sandrax, you probably won't ever, unless it is filthy aluminum, have to ever go over 20% cleaning action. So what that allows you to do is you're gonna put more heat and be able to melt that aluminum and filler rod at a less amperage due to the higher concentration of the negative side of it. It also will run on 208, 230, 460 power, single R3 phase. So it's quite a versatile machine. It also has 14 pin Ampanol for foot controls, remotes, interfaces. And again, it is fully compatible with all Miller direct plug-in foot controls, even their wireless foot control wow. will work on this unit. Wow, that's, a, that's good. Now due to the size of the machine and to keep the weight down, it does not have an AC plug 110 on the back of it that would add weight size to the unit. So you will have to power your recirculator from another source. Some people used to complain, well, if I forget to turn my recirculator on and I start welding, that will burn up my torch, which is truly correct. With this unit, we have had it where your outlet of your cooler goes into the back of the machine. Then your torque inlet is gonna plug into this unit. What that does is if you forget to turn your recirculator on, power the system up and go to welding, it will shut the output off. It will not let you weld to protect that torque and give you an error code on the front, which would be 
E33. That is the code that this coolant solenoid is not satisfied, so you do not put out any amperage. So that's just an added safety feature we incorporated into this unit. Wow, this sounds like this machine has pretty much everything you would ever want in a TIG. It'll protect its torch. Looks very easy to use. Looks quite intuitive. Of course, as always, Sanrex three-year warranty on all of the internal components. Oh, a real switch on the back. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. That is amazing. Folks, Sanrex makes high quality industrial power supplies. Visiting here at the 2019 Fabtech Chicago, be sure to check us out, www.morewps.com. Feel free to reach out to us at any time for pricing or more information. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much, Scott. Thank you, Joe.